Welcome. Today we're talking about delivering better customer service for your customers. There's a lot of negative press coverage for companies that deliver poor customer service. And the number one reason why a customer leaves is because they feel like you don't care about them. In this webinar, we will show you different examples on how you can use Superoffice service to deliver excellent customer service, even if you do not have a professional customer service team. And for those of you who don't know Superoffice, we are one of the leading cloud and SaaS CRM vendors in Europe with more than 6,000 B2B oriented customers. And we have more than 30 years experience with a headquarter and development department in Norway, but we also have offices in a total of eight countries in Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Germany, Netherlands, Switzerland, UK, and Lithuania. And we help companies find, catch, and keep customers with our CRM solution. That means that we help you improve and professionalize your marketing, sales, and customer service processes, and we help you build better relationships with your customers. My name is Jeanette, and I work with the customer experience team here at Superoffice. And my goal is to show you how we can use CRM to build relationships across the entire customer journey and deliver great customer experiences. So if you have any questions um, on how to get started with your processes or CRM strategy, you can send a message directly by email, on social media, or reach out on our website. And if you want to see the presentation again, it will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, where you can also find more tips and inspiration. And today we are starting with an introduction uh, and talking a little bit about the differences between customer service, customer experience, and customer centricity. And then we will move on to the five ways to deliver excellent customer service. And we will give you some examples on how you can improve your customer service with a CRM system like Superoffice. And then we will show you some examples in a demo in Superoffice service on different ways to deliver great service without actually having a professional customer service team. And then we will give you some tips on how to get started with service and where to contact us. So how important is it to deliver excellent customer service? Customer service has an impact on both existing customers and potential customers. And a recent survey found that 68% of consumers would react by telling family and friends about a bad experience by posting it on a social network. And as a Facebook profile has an average of 155 friends, one negative experience can quickly reach thousands. However, there is a great value in ensuring you deliver a positive customer experience. All right, now Technologies Customer Experience Report found that 86% are willing to pay more for a better customer experience. And 73% said a friendly customer service made them fall in love with a brand. So not only will brands get happy, loyal customers, but they will also see increased business. And many use customer experience and customer service interchangeably, but the two terms do not mean the same thing. And lately you can also add customer centricity to the mix. But what exactly is the difference? In most cases, a customer first point of contact with the company is usually by interacting with an employee, either by visiting a store or by speaking on the phone. This gives your business an opportunity to deliver a great customer service. However, customer service is only one aspect of the entire customer experience. The customer experience, also known as CX, is defined by the interactions and the experiences your customer has with your business throughout the entire customer journey, from first contact to becoming a happy and loyal customer. Customer centricity means putting the customer first and at the center of everything that you do. Customer-centric organizations take steps to understand the customer and act on that understanding by creating a culture that empowers employees to make the best decisions for both the customer and the company in parallel. So how do you deliver a good customer service? Here are five ways to stand out from the crowd to help you deliver excellent customer service. Number one is to respond as quickly as possible. One of the biggest factors in good customer service is speed. 
especially when a client is requesting something that's time sensitive. And several years ago, Stella Service conducted a response time report and found that the average email response time for the top 100 retail companies was 17 hours. And today it's not much better as our own customer service study found that the average response time is 12 hours. Well, Frost reported that 41% of consumers surveyed listed being put on hold as their biggest frustration. So make sure you don't leave customers waiting. And number two is know your customers. Great interactions begin with knowing your customers' wants and needs. And customers love personalization. Get to know your customers, remember their names and previous conversations. And if needed, make a note of what you discussed previously so that you can refer to it the next time you meet or talk. Number three is fix your mistakes. Not taking responsibility of your mistakes is a surefire way to get a bad reputation. And transparency is important in business and customer service is no different. So acknowledge your customer's feelings, apologize, take responsibility and understand what went wrong to improve and to prevent it from happening again. And always strive for high quality output as it shows you have a high level of standards. Number four is listen to your customers. Listening to your customers will not only result in an indebted and happy customer, it can also go a long way in terms of keeping yourself on the radar for future business. And customer feedback can be valuable in many ways. It helps you improve your product or service. You can deliver a much better customer experience and even increase your revenue. Number five is think long-term when dealing with customers. By keeping customers happy, they will be loyal and through word of mouth will do the marketing for you. In fact, according to author Pete Blackshaw, a satisfied customer tells at least three friends, whereas an angry customer tells 3,000. And one way is to follow up a registered inquiry or request after it's closed, or be proactive and contact your customers regularly to build stronger relationships. So if you want to improve relationships with your customers, start by making small changes to your customer service. No matter how great your business is or how talented your team may be, customer will always remember the interactions they have with your company. So here are a few customer service tips to deliver a better customer experience. The first thing is to deliver contextual based support. When you and your team have a 360 degree view of a customer needs, you're better at finding opportunities to improve customer experience. In Microsoft's report on state of global customer support, more than 75% of consumers expect customer service reps to have visibility into previous interactions and purchases. Yet nearly half say agents almost never or only occasionally have the context they need to most effectively and efficiently solve their issue. And customers feel frustrated whenever they have to repeat themselves or believe that the customer service lacks the knowledge about their issue. And by unifying customer information with a CRM, customer service reps gain the context and ability to resolve inquiries in a single interaction. The second is to innovate the customer journey. Customer experience has become the driving force that determines whether a customer will stay or abandon your business. However, the methods of delivering a memorable customer experience has also changed over the years. That's why you need to understand your customer's journey and start mapping it and adapt it to their needs. There's a common saying that you can't understand someone until you walk a mile in their shoes. And that's exactly what a customer journey maps do. They help you put yourself in different customer shoes and understand your business from their point of view. And once you've mapped out existing touch points, you can then layer them on top of your customer's touch points, providing you with an overview of what you're currently doing today versus what you should be doing to reach and serve your customers. An example can be to have your team be present in social media versus the traditional incoming email. And while this is just one example of the evolution of customer support, 
Companies must innovate their customer journeys to adapt to today's technology, platforms, and demands. And the third is to invest in both human and automated service channels. Because losing loyal customers is detrimental to every company's bottom line. And companies that fail to invest in a combination of human and automated self-service channels are missing opportunities to create loyal, satisfied customers. And automated self-service channels, such as a knowledge base, offer customers with the ability to solve issues on their own. However, if they can't find the information that they need, that's when human service channels, such as real-time chat, serve to complement customer support and address issues quickly before frustrations escalate. So how can SuperFizRM help you improve and implement these five tips? Let's start with the most important of SuperOffice, which is the core of CRM. You have the contact management with companies and contact persons, activities and follow-ups, and you can save important emails and documents. And this gives you that 360 degree customer overview, a collection of all customer data in one place. It allows you to find all customer info, data on all past and present purchases, all dialogue with sales reps, customer service, and support. And it shows the relationship as an ongoing loop with all the touch points where the customer is in contact with your brand. And it can either be through purchases or marketing communication to customer service to support. And then we have SuperOffice Service. And this solution is built to receive track and follow up customer inquiries, regardless of channel. That can be email, phone, chat, or web forms. And each request is then categorized and assigned a unique reference number and a place in the queue system. And the number also tracks all communication related to that inquiry. With automatic categorization and assignment to the right person, you save a lot of time and resources. So the employees will have access to the functions needed to respond quickly, consistently, and efficiently with quick reply features and templates. And you can set up workflows, triggers, and tasks that suit you and your business best practice. And you can also set up automatic answers and intelligent case flows that ensures that your customers always get the attention they deserve and that the right person helps them at the right time. So you can set up an email account and filter by keywords to assign it to the right category. So you no longer have to waste time sorting and distributing your inquiries. And if a request is left unanswered after a defined deadline, the system will automatically escalate the case based on priority of the customer or category. And then we have the customer center, which is a standalone portal that can be integrated into any existing website and give your customers the opportunity to communicate with you or to help themselves 24 seven. With the customer center, your customers can log in, view their request history, ask questions and register support cases, manage their company details and search the knowledge base. And with SuperOffice Chat, you can engage with several customers at once and answer questions immediately to keep your customers happy, whether it's for support or answering questions about product and services on the pricing page. And in SuperOffice, the team will have access to a chat screen that gives them relevant details about the customer, their query, and how it's progressed so far. And you can build professionally looking web forms to start conversations and get feedback. And with no coding required, forms in SuperOffice let you gather high quality data, automatically update your CRM database and create targeted follow-up actions. And everything is updated in SuperOffice like comments, ratings, interest fields, subscriptions to GDPR consents. So let's take a look at how SuperOffice service can help you deliver excellent customer service with some examples in this demo. Let's start in SuperOffice CRM first to look at that 360 degree overview. And here I am on the company card and I can get the most important information, our contact, 
category, and also customize fields. Here I have the contacts for this company. I can also see a preview of the contact person and his activities, recent sales, projects, and requests. We have relations. We can connect to other contact persons or companies. We get an overview of the projects that this company is linked to. And here we get the activities, which is the most important tab in SuperOffice. Here we'll get an overview of all the customer meetings, the emails, documents. You can also see form submissions and proposals and a lot more. So this will give you a great overview of all the history and the communication that our employees have had with this customer. We can also see all sales that have been registered on this customer or sales opportunities and at which stage, the amount and next activity. And then we have the requests. And this is what we will focus on today. So here you will have all inquiries registered on this company. But we can also get a preview if we click on one. So let's jump into service and see how this looks like. So here we have the dashboard in SuperOffice Service. And Service helps you to keep track of and answer all inquiries as soon as they come in and you can solve your customer's problem no matter whether they come by phone, email, chat or web forms, for example. And with automatic categorization and assignment to the right person, you save a lot of time and resources. And you can create multiple email accounts to receive customer service tickets about specific areas. For example, it can be product related, it can be technical, billing questions, HR and IT. So here you see different categories, which can have a different email address. We can assign it by keywords or we can assign it manually. So this is assigned to a category and then a dedicated person or team. And like you see here, we have a lot more than just support or customer service. We also have connected our sales department, our marketing team, administration. So you don't need that typical professional customer service team. This can be your entire organization that receives customer inquiries. It can be internal tickets or other important inquiries and requests that you want to categorize and track with a ticket management system. And here you can see different cases that are open, when they're created, who's the owner of the case, the category, and also the contact and company name. And a quick search on requests. It can be ticket number, customer, ticket owner, status, period, or category. We'll get you the information you're looking for. And each request is automatically assigned a unique reference number and a place in the queue system. And the number tracks all communication related to the inquiry. So if a customer replies, it will also be updated on the case. So let's take an example as a customer. If I want to send an email, and in this case, as a customer, we have changed our address, but the invoices keep getting sent to the old address. And if you have a bigger team, you might have different teams with different types of emails like support, sales, etc. Or it could be a standard info at company.com. So let's send the email, jump back into SuperOffice. We can now find it under the category support. Now this is unassigned, so we can manually assign it. It can automatically be assigned to the next available person in the support team, or it can also be assigned based on keywords in the actual email. So as we see on the request, we have the title. It's already connected to the right person and company because it's already registered in SuperOffice. Here we have the assigned ID number, and we also have a set deadline. So that brings me to the first tip, which is to respond as quickly as possible. So based on this deadline, it can be connected to the category, 
certain categories can have shorter deadlines. It can also be connected to the priority of the customer. For example, if this is a VIP customer, maybe the deadline is two hours. And if you haven't responded and closed the case within a deadline, you as an owner can be automatically notified or it can also be escalated to a manager. And if this was a typical email, this might get lost in the inbox when you transfer it to someone internally. So it's important to give a reply that we're working on the case or solving it quickly. In this case, we've made what we call a macro so that we can update the case and the customer with a few clicks. Click move to invoices. And now we have a new owner on the case and the category has changed to administration and finance. And the customer have also gotten a reply that has been forwarded to our invoice department. And this is also important so that they get a confirmation that we're working on the case so that they don't call or send another email. And now Abigail will get notified and can update the address on the company card. Now let's take the second example, which is to know your customers. And this is easy with SuperOffice as you get a full overview of both the contact person and the company. So we can click on the link here. And here I get an overview of all requests. The contacts, for example, I can click on the CEO, check his history, and we can also see more details on the contact person. We have note, preferred language, we can also see the priority and some company details. But we can also connect interests, the latest project and recent sale. We can see what score he has given on our MPS survey so that we know he's a promoter and also the last activity connected. So these are customized field that pulls information from SuperOffice CRM. So if you talk to the customer on the phone, you can also refer back to previous requests or information we find on the company card. If we go back to the company, we can take a look at another case. view the history and reply. And this time we can use a reply template that makes it easy when we have requests and replies we use often. And in this case, the customer asked for our terms and conditions. So here we have a standard reply, but it also uses the template variables so that we can merge the name and other information from the company card. This makes it more personal. Let's take another example. And the third tip was to fix your mistakes. So let's look at another case. And in this example, the customer has received broken screens. So it's important to be personal to understand the situation and apologize. We've also sent an internal comment to our team so that they don't have to pay for extra shipping for the new screens. And if this is an issue or a mistake that happens often, you can also tag it for future reference. For this, we can use tags. and create. So later we can use selections to get reports on this specific issue. The fourth tip was to listen to your customers. So if we want to follow up on this request, we can send a survey. So now we followed up on this case and ask for feedback. Now we can ask them to simply reply to the email or we can ask them to fill out a form. So let's check the email and we can respond as the customer. 
And in this case, maybe the customer isn't satisfied and writes in more detail how we can improve our service. And I'll check the form. And here we can see the total submissions and the ratings. And we can open to see the reply from the customer. And this you can use to follow up the customer further or to improve your services. So now we're back in Superoffice CRM to see that we got more information, more requests on this customer. So everything that we did so far is now registered on the company card here as well. So even though if you do not have an active user in service, all of your employees can still view the history of the customer. And this brings me to the final tip, which is to think long term. Because it's important to retain your customers, and if they're happy, they also stay loyal. So one way we can do this is using requests or activities. And we can use a selection to see a list of the companies that hasn't gotten a follow-up or hasn't sent in a request for a specific period of time. So we can go to selection. And here we can generate lists of all the customers without open activities or even requests within a specific period of time. So if you haven't had any activity on the company for let's say three months, they will automatically update here. So from here we can add or create an email, a mass email to maybe do a follow-up on all customers. We can send an email to this selected customer or we can generate follow-ups. And this will now be added to my activities list, or we can also set it to the company owner, which is our contact in the company. And then press save. And if we go to this company, we can now see the follow-up here, so that we regularly keep in touch with all our customers and make sure that they have everything they need so that we can keep building stronger relationships. So in this webinar, we have talked about the differences between customer service, customer experience, and customer centricity. And we've given you five good customer service examples to provide great service. And this was to respond quickly, to know your customers, fix your mistakes, listen to your customers, and also think long-term. And then we've seen how you can use those examples to deliver excellent customer service with SuperOffice. So what's the next step if you want to get started with SuperOffice service? I highly recommend that you take a look at the customer service benchmark report. And I briefly mentioned this study earlier on in the presentation, but this is our own uh, research, which is a study of how thousand companies handle customer support how companies compare to each other in customer service, how companies manage and respond to customer support requests, and what others can learn from the best-in-class companies. And here are some key findings. 62% of companies do not respond to customer service emails. 90% of companies do not even acknowledge or inform the customer that an email has been received. 97% of companies do not send a follow-up email to customers to see if they're satisfied with the response. And the average response time to handle a customer service request is 12 hours and 10 minutes. And the goal of the study was to find out if companies actually give as good customer service as they think that they do. Delivering great customer service is not only about handling the request when it has been received, it's also about the follow-up, the speed, and the quality. And some of these things can be handled without a system. Others, however, require a good customer support or help desk solution. And even with a small team and a good customer service strategy, in combination with a customer service software, you can deliver excellent customer service. 
And if you want to see how SuperOffice can help your business deliver better customer experiences, I also recommend you contact us for a free personalized demo from one of our CRM experts. But if you want to learn more and research on your own, we have a lot of inspiration and market research on our blog. You will find a lot of interesting articles on CRM strategy in particular. And if you want to take a look at more product related content, we also have a customer community. You can also attend one of our webinars to learn more about possibilities with CRM and improving your sales, marketing and service processes. And all of our previous webcasts are also available on our YouTube channel with a lot more tips and tricks and how to videos. And of course, if you have any questions or you want to talk about your CRM strategy, you can contact us on our website, social media, or book a meeting with us or one of our partners. So I hope you got some inspiration on how you can deliver excellent customer service and streamline your customer service processes with SuperOffice. And thank you so much for joining us today. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and videos. Have a great day.